What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFishLI. In today's video, we are going to be doing a sea robin catch and cook and a taste test. So sea robins kind of get a bad rap as a trash fish. Sometimes you'll see them thrown up on the beach, just left to die. Uh, people just really don't like them because they kind of get in the way of fluke fishing. Be because um, they, they're just faster than fluke, they'll get to the bait before it. You'll catch way more sea robin before you catch fluke. So, a lot of people don't like them, and there's a lot more around, which I think is, there's a lot more around because no one ever keeps them. So, in today's video, we are going to be catching a sea robin and seeing if they actually taste good, because I hear tons of people say they actually taste great. It'd be awesome if people started keeping sea robin to eat, because apparently they are actually good. So you guys will see what my reaction was at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And also, all the gear I used in today's video will be linked in the description as always, so if you guys need anything that I used in the video, definitely check out those links. And if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. So let's get right into fishing and then the filleting and the cooking. Actually, before the fishing starts, I just want to kind of explain what's going on. So I didn't really do a good job of explaining it when I was fishing because it kind of happened pretty fast. So I, when I was walking the beach, I just saw a ton of schoolies really, really close to shore in some really, really clear water. And I'm pretty sure they were chasing some um, sand fleas. So I don't want to give too much away in the video, but I could literally see some schoolies in like two feet of water off the beach. It was crazy. So let's get right into fishing. Right there. Bro, right there. Yeah. Right there, it's a bass. There's a bass right there. Yeah. He's following, he's following it. Oh. Dude, that's nuts. Where'd he go? There's like at least three. There's one right there. They're close. They're stupid close. There's one. definitely bass. It's definitely bass. They're definitely feeding on sand fleas, bro. Sand fleas. What would you put it on? Just like a bear jig head? Yeah, try it. Try it. Bite is on fire. I'm just gonna drag it in slowly. Fish. Yeah. Fish on the sand fleas. Oh, it's a robin.
damn it. It's a robin. Fat giant sea robin. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna keep this sea robin. What? Dude, this sea robin's huge. Should I keep it? What? Dude. Should I keep it? Oh, it's a pig. I know. Oh my god. Yeah, why not? Alright. See Robin catching cook coming your way. Alright. I gotta bleed it. Caught this massive sea robin. Probably my biggest sea robin ever. Um, I'm gonna bleed him and I'm gonna cook him when we get home. I'll kind of explain what I was trying to do when I caught this sea robin before this, but this sea robin is massive. I gotta measure him. All right, today we're trying sea robin. All right, so now we're gonna try and fillet this sea robin. First, I wanna measure it. This uh, cooler's got a uh, ruler on it. it uh, looks like it's like about an 18 inch sea robin that's that's like the biggest sea robin i've ever caught caught this on uh sand fleas on a jig head i'll talk about that more about what i was targeting at first when i was doing that but so it's my first time ever filleting a sea robin and probably one of my first very few fish i've ever filleted so pro we're gonna get right into it I'm on the right side. And you can poke all the way through down there. Do you feel the skin out there? There you go. I don't think I did that bad. No, yeah. not too bad at all. So you know, leaving some meat there, you know. Once you get over the backbone, then you then you angle down. Did I leave a, a lot of meat? Yeah, not too bad. All right. All right. So I just got done with the first side. There's actually a pretty good amount of meat on here. Um, gonna go ahead and do the second side now. All right. Here are the two flays. Pretty decent amount of meat on them. We uh, cut the bones out also. And so uh, now it's time to cook them, but before we do that, I'm gonna cut open the stomach and see what the uh, sea robins are eating. Alright, so I got my fillets right here. Just gonna dip the fillets in some eggs and then breadcrumb, and then straight onto a pan with some olive oil. Just simple, see how the fish actually tastes. And good. Just get it in the eggs. And the breadcrumbs, get both sides, get all, all around. And then straight into the pan with some olive oil. Alright, how long can we reserve it for? Here is the finished product. I know I didn't really film much of the uh, cooking or the flying, but I did my best. All right, here we go. Gonna try it out. Honestly, that's delicious. It's just as good as this fluke. I don't see why people don't keep these more often i don't get why it's called trash fish i think people should really normalize keeping sea robins and just keep them not not instead of fluke but like 
In addition to fluke, if you catch a sea robin, you don't really catch any keeper flukes. Just keep a sea robin. It's actually really, really good. I would actually just keep this, like, if I catch a sea robin, I'd definitely just keep it. It's really, really good. Yeah, I don't know if it's I've barely eaten all day and I'm just starving and this tastes really, really good right now, but I've already almost eaten up both fillets. It's so good. Alright guys, so that is going to be all for today's video. So in conclusion, Sea Robin definitely tastes great. I actually really, really liked it. I would just eat it like as a regular meal. I would keep one for a meal one day. Like, I'm not, I'm not lying. You guys, try it for yourselves. It's actually really, really good. So hopefully, Sea Robin kind of get a better reputation as a um, eating fish. Um, definitely, definitely try Sea Robin for yourself. It was really, really good. It wasn't that hard to fillet. I just didn't include that much of the filleting in the video because I don't want the video to get, like, uh, taken down because of, like, blood or whatever. But, um... I just cooked it pretty simply and it tasted great. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future content. I've got some big stuff coming. I'm really excited for the rest of this summer. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.